Far from the meandering markets echoing with the sound of haggling, most Iranians like to do their shopping here, in huge malls boasting multiple floors of retail space. The concept is undeniably Western, but Western brands are seldom found. They have to be smuggled in and they're sold at vastly inflated prices. It's very difficult to get original spare parts here and they cost a lot. There are also difficulties with customer service and repair. For instance, because there's no official Apple representative here, many customers and sellers suffer losses. Still, Iranians have embraced shopping centers. Developers have broken ground on an estimated 400 modern malls across the country in recent years, 65 of them in Tehran alone. They're banking on the buying potential of the country's youthful population, despite a lack of foreign products. Iran, uh, Over the past 10 years, Iran was having problems with the international community. As a consequence, now the country has to deal with an accumulated lack of foreign investment. But the expected lifting of sanctions imposed over Iran's disputed nuclear program could open the door to a potential retail bonanza, especially for imported Western goods, a boon for the country's economy. We feel that with the removal of sanctions, we will witness a new situation and a new set of conditions in terms of brands in Iran. At least in the field of clothing and fashion, there will be cultural changes and aesthetic transformations. Ever since the nuclear deal was struck, ties between Iran and Western countries have increasingly warmed up. Sanctions could be lifted as early as 2016, and without them, Iran's dense population and oil and gas-rich lands have the potential to attract much-awaited foreign investment.